Hello everyone. Welcome to the next lecture on the multivariate normal distribution. Today I will explain you how you can find the unbiased estimator of the covariance matrix. Myself Dr. Harish Kar, you can follow my YouTube channel where you can find the playlist of applied multivariate statistics and in this lecture you can see the various lecture related to the multivariate normal distributions and their corresponding results. I hope you can subscribe my YouTube channel so that you can get the notification in advance when I uploaded the next video. What we have discussed in our last lectures, if you have the multivariate normal distribution x where this mu is called as a mean vector and this sigma is called as covariance matrix. Remember the covariance matrix is also called as dispersion matrix. Also we have defined in our last lectures that this covariance matrix is always a symmetric matrix and this is this matrix is always a positive definite and the last property is it is my square matrix whose size is my p cross p where p is my dimension of the problem clearly say if p is my 2 then we call as a bivariate normal distribution if p is equal to 1 we call as a univariate normal distribution based on this multivariate normal variate we have defined the sample covariance matrix that is denoted by capital S and this X bar is called as the sample me. Also, we have defined the maximum likelihood estimator. This is the MLE maximum likelihood estimator of this sigma, which is defined as S divided by N. Now, what is the objective of this lecture is we will see what will be the unbiased estimator of this sigma. Can we say the MLE of sigma that is what is the MLE of sigma is S divided by N is it a biased estimator or the unbiased estimator. So you know how what is the definition of the unbiased estimator any of the estimator is said to be unbiased if expected value of that estimator is gamma then that capital T is said to be the unbiased estimator. Now can can the MLE of sigma is the biased estimator or the unbiased estimator. So the simple result is if capital S is my sample covariance matrix then S divided by N minus 1 is the unbiased estimator. What does it implies? That means you can say S divided by N is the biased estimator. The, uh, this is the result but how you can prove that that I will show you in this lecture. I will complete this proof within the 3 to 4 minutes so that you can easily learn and understand. I hope you can like my video so that so that you can support me through my this video. Now what is your target? If I say this is my unbiased estimator what does it mean? That means your target is to prove expected value of this is my sigma. This is your required target. Now let's say I can start from the definition of the S. Now I can add and subtract. I can add and subtract mu from the each term. So this is x bar minus mu. Same I can add and subtract mu from this is minus and this is my minus of mu. I can return this term. Now since this is my matrix, this is my matrix and we all know if A and B are the two matrix, what is the A minus B transpose? That is A transpose minus B transpose. So because of this transpose, I can open. Now you can open this bracket. What we'll do? This is summation I varies from 1 to N. I can multiply this value by here. This is Xi minus mu into Xi minus mu transpose minus summation i varies from 1 to n xi minus mu minus uh, into x bar minus mu transpose. Similarly, I can multiply this and I can multiply this. If I open this, you will get this expression. Now, if I simply expand this value, now clearly say this value is independent of i. So, this value, so this x bar minus mu transpose is my outside. So, what will happen? If I open this bracket, it is summation of xi minus summation of mu. So what is the value of this? This is n into x bar. This is n into 
mu so i can take n as a common it is x bar minus mu into x bar minus mu transpose similarly for this case i can take this quantity as a outside then this number is again x bar minus mu this whole quantity is my outside so i can say this number is my n times this value now you, you can clearly say this value and this value will be cancel out so the final result will be my this term this is my sigma because this is a covariance matrix what is the definition of the sigma sigma is with respect to the mu now you know the s i can take the expected value on the both side fine so what is that expected value of the because sigma is a matrix in this case what is this case you can say this is my covariance of sigma this is my covariance now what is the covariance of the x bar because x bar follows the multivariate normal distribution therefore covariance of x bar is sigma divided by n so i can substitute this value as sigma divided by n so n minus 1 into sigma fine so what does it implies that means expected value of s i can take n minus 1 on the left hand side which comes to be this number so hence what does it implies that means s over n minus 1 is the unbiased estimator of sigma fine or you can say s capital s is the biased estimator of sigma that means the mle of sigma is the biased estimator so this is the way you can easily prove and learn the concept through my video i hope you can like and comment on my video so that it will be useful for you and the others we will see the next lecture how you can check the independency of sample mean and the covariance matrix till then you can like share with this video with your friends best of luck students happy learning